Yes, I'm the imposter. And totally yeah. not because they are playing Bryant. No, nope, totally not. Hedgehog. Nope. But yeah, <laughs> apologies if the audio is a bit scuffed. Xbox is being a pain in the ass right now. It's not Discord. Also, <coughs> also Grease and Phil so great, so any, Yeah, we're going to try and speed through get, this. Get, feel, get better soon to Greed and all that. Yeah. Stuff. Which is why I'm literally just going to gonna slap this into one gigantic episode. It's going to be like an 18 gig freaking thing, but... Sweet! Doesn't matter to me. Oh, I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are they and I am... Literally, it's your Christmas awesome. special, people. is just one sure full recording. Alright, Brian, got it. Let's go. <laughs> nope, hold up. I gotta do this right. You know we might have to reset this, right? True, because we need enough money. Let's yeah. do this! Cursed. <coughs> <laughs> Oz, Blue, Bryant, Better Brian, um, and Christmas. Perfect. Sure. Mm-hmm. Give this. Dun, 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 dun. Quiz time! <laughs> okay, come on. Quiz Give us time. a good one. Okay, we need all the money endings, or money choices specifically for me. Well, I believe that first one is a money ending. I think it is. Okay. Uh... So wait, am I going for it, or...? Yes, you're going for it. <laughs> okay, so I gotta choose that one too. Got it. Uh, I have no idea what it is. It's the position whatever. where I really don't care what my stats are. Yeah. I'm looking them up because I want to know. I'm because kids to trying money. to go for Polly. Mm-hmm. Again, we might have to reset this, but... <laughs> so, yeah, this record... Well, you may see a lot of cuts in this. So, oh, silly. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 Oh. Okay, well, good. Um... I think the top one is money. One minute. Okay. Superheroes is money. Yep, Explosions there we go. Explosions is boldness. <coughs> uh, whatever this is. Money. Money, money, money. <laughs> Must be funny. In a rich man's world. Well, I know who I'm going for. <laughs> hey, plus there's an option for Polly in there, too. Don't know about the rest of y'all, but we know what we doing. <laughs> and again, I do apologize, people, if the other bit scared. The cocktail like is Polly. Mm. Yep. Cocktail is definitely Polly. Who are you going after? I could help you. I have no idea. Who's this? That's, um, That's Miranda. 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 That would be Liam. Liam, yeah. And then the yeah, other two, a, you can figure that one. Let's get some more purple boy. Okay, more, <laughs> more purple, purple boy. boy. Alrighty. So I need fun and boldness. And I need that sweet dollar dollar. I have no idea what I have, so. <laughs> Thanks. I really don't care what I have. I just need that sweet cash. Oh, by the way, last night I got the coal. It reduces oh you to zero. Damn. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You were a bad boy. Here's zero stats. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I need one more money. So I need so the I need the library. Yeah, that's it. Cause yeah, we're trying to buy is ten dollars. Okay, there. It's uh, I have plenty of smarts. I what is what's the other thing I need for Liam? Uh Smart creativity? creativity, I think. Huh? Or Liam. Why? Or Liam, sorry. Uh -huh. I imagine he's probably smart in creativity, I believe. Yeah. You just happen to be hanging around near Scott when Okay, fine. <laughs> no, no, no. Scott no. is heart. <coughs> Scott doesn't have stats. He's all hearts. Yep. This will make time. him love my you. love. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. One minute. I'm yeah. Beast yourself. 
Rally a swarm of accidental termites to the ver. This dire harp spine. Oh. Oh. Don't care. Tim, we're going for specific endings here. Lots and rounding booty, 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 love yeah, booty. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. All right. Oof. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure I need. I'm guessing I need creativity. Yeah. Um. I thought of that. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Do what you do. What's that? Sorry. Patient. Blah 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 blah. blah. To Ball. creativity. Okay. We have anything any attention to that. Any attention to that? He corns you afterwards unless you want Instagram filters. <laughs> what? No one seems to be understand about filters and that they're not about making pictures better. Make pictures browner and harder to see. Nah, that sounds like me. Almost all my photos infinite hope. That's like seeing followers. Okay, I, I looked at it. It's. Smarts and creativity, yeah. Mm. As soon as Liam's gone, it's Miranda. Oh, not this out. one again. Yay! <laughs> Have you actually succeeded at this one yet? I don't think he has. I believe I technically did, didn't I? We, you had oh, wait, no, 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 no I think he did. Liam at the airport. Is this yeah. the prom king ending? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Then yes, I yeah, have. Yeah, I think he's got sure. it, yeah. Hmm. I mean, he could fail the first part and maybe get another one. Yeah, as long as you fail the first part, you can still go after Liam. Yep. So just okay. screw it up. Whatever the proper answer is, no. <laughs> kind of operation well, making it popular again. Before. It's like, do you want to help huh? make being it popular again? No. Just leave. End credits. Okay, so... Um, How do I fail this? Bottom one is money. No questions. Um, and I, I think remember. smarts is the top one. I don't have the list open, so let me look. Good luck. Here. Godspeed. Godspeed, you magnificent son of a bitch. <coughs> no, okay. Just listen to the music in the background. Do the monkey. Do the monkey with it. Come on. <laughs> Do the hustle. Do the hustle. Do the hustle. Oh, for God's sake, Monster Prom. The fan what? site's just having a heart attack. Give me a sec. Okay. It's like, oh, did you want to load this ending? No, I wanted this ending. Prom King, got it. If you want to fail it, you need to choose the money one. You sure? I'm yeah, it pretty is. sure. The yes. first one's fun. First one's fun. Top one is fun. Bomb one's money. Go money. What the? F it says fun. It yeah. says fun. Yeah, Monster Pump's temperamental like that. It's like we want to give you special ending. Fuck off. I'm the sand uh, guy. Oh well, just got another the sand. sand. Yeah, but now I don't longer care. Yep. Maybe money is just one of those things you only fail if you have, like, no money. I Let's guess, but I'm just saying, like it said, it fun is weird Oh, right, better, Brian. You're better, Brian. You're red. No, I'm Fire Lord XX, Fire Lord XX. I mean, true. Also, watch this. Wait, why am I not... It's not... Pathetic. Dang it. It might be because we're in a multiplayer. Oh, because we're in multiplayer. Damn it. This gang is old. So, so old. Every time I go on Dark Arts, I do with sexist trolls. Try to call me out and prove I'm a fake Dark Arts girl. Oh, yeah? You're lips game so much. Name three of the earliest curses. To picture yourself with cursed artifacts to get attention. Self girl. Oh, God. I'm on the trials. What? I'm sorry. I'm playing another game while we're playing. <laughs> just, just don't care about that much. <laughs> Jesus. He's playing Skyward. Oh, uh, I'd be more likely player. to be doing that, but I'm just... Yeah. I don't think attention span to do that. Nope. All right. Uh... Oh. Not oh, effectively, at least. So I don't want to screw this up. Do anybody have I'm the answers? 
Well, I mean, this doesn't have anything to do with your things. No, but I need to make sure I don't lose money. Uh, he... Oh, you're going to lose money during this, from what I hear. No matter but what. But he needs to not lose money right before it happens. Yeah, I need to this buy the thing. This is very true. Yeah, I'm gonna start browsing Tumblr and Twitter. <laughs> How much do we care about this recording this time? <laughs> well, I already am not getting an ending. I, that you don't, ending that that I, you I, want. I, I, I don't want, and I already have seen both the factors. I mean, you could still probably fail it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's it, but by the time I do, I won't be able to get any other. Yeah. All right. Um. Right here. Then. Uh, okay, that sounds like boldness. So heated. Prove your dark cards guess go on. Enjoy them also as you come with me. Uh... Also as you come with Uh, that one sounds like... Charm okay, and so... And charm. Smarts and charm? Yes. Which are both the same. Crap. Oh, thank God. With you, better run. Hmm, well, you grew these trolls. I guess you're on. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. time to appear on the scariest, darkest artist. Data. Again, I hate how I can't spam click through this just like I was planning to do. But, uh, and again, people, this is just well, good. Actually we're trying to have to out the actual ending you're going. No, I know. That's why I'm just trying to skip through this crap. Like, this is just the um, setup sure. to it, right? Yeah. Not Brian. Christmas. Oh, okay. I'm Christmas, damn it. Give us presents, damn it. Okay, I need fun and boldness. <coughs> I need more fun than boldness, so fun time. This kind of goes full crazy. You have no idea how it is. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Dancing so mass fast, my limbs fall off. <laughs> hey, baby, let's party. You're such a full invite, you charge her down immediately. Help brainstorming. Needs to change. Is this the party scientist? Yes. Yes. God you got the party scientist it. ending? I don't want the party scientist ending. I I'm want the regular ending. Well, happy, guess what? So We're going to probably make it so that the ending that was right is wrong. I'm not even going to look up what it is. I'm just going to eeny, meeny, miny. Go with whatever goes. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by it. So if it hollers, make it pay $50 God damn, I just realized how horrible that is. Probably. <laughs> My master told me to I said a bottom one. one and I think you it's are a... not at <laughs> God damn. Eeny meeny miny mo, look at it, look at it go. Again, the game just wants you to get... I, I guess, the game really just wants them. Even if you want to fail, so... the game's like, no. Oh, this yeah. means that Doom was right, I should have picked the bottom one <laughs> if I wanted to fail. Alright. Yep. Uh, yeah. When you get into the thing, don't worry about missing things. Don't worry about it? Why? You can't fail once you get into it. And there is a fail. There are fail endings, but it, they're all part of the same thing. So I yeah, can't okay. lose this? More or less. Once you're in it, you essentially can't lose. You can't lose because they all have endings. Money. Okay. Or out well, uh, Gorgon oh, guy. Or more to the point. Every single choice is a failing choice. Yeah. Okay. Also, can we just talk about how it's Val's Declassified Gorgon Befriending Guide, <laughs> a.k.a. Yeah, Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide? Copyright. Copyright. Yeah, copyright infringement. Mute everything! <laughs> As an Oberlin, I possess one of the most useful skills for surviving this school, knowing how not to upset Vera. And for a price, you can learn that skill too. By the hype state, hype nation. <laughs> no. Later, you do, then I'm leaving. For yeah, the who would want to save money for this code fund? There we go. All right. Hello. It's back to you. Oz. Andrew. Mm, oh. Stop browsing Tumblr, okay. damn it. Oh, excuse me, but I'm not, not caring at this point. <laughs> who wants the coven then? Oh God, no! I can't talk to Polly. Cause you gotta talk to Vera. No. no. I just bought the thing, I can't. 
Oh, you just bought. Okay. Yeah, so you can talk to Bali. Yeah, I can talk to Bali. Yeah, and, I, and the cat can meow. They're yeah, all around some kind yeah, of little yard back. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, we only get one wish, not three. So it's important for all of us to agree before we release it. Okay, fine. Jeez. I mean, we already said we're not doing voices, so. Yeah, true. Hope you've been expressed your wish for a secret hideout with a mini fridge and foosball table. Faith has argued just as fervently as <laughs> <laughs> peace. We must save the but as a leader, I think the most sensible option is a mystic sword that will instantly slay this season's big bad and. Open faith immediately objected to Joy calling herself a leader and the three students of Olgen to a shouting match. Amidst the commotion, you can't help but notice that the wishing lamp is totally unguarded. Without really thinking about it, as if you do, you rub the lamp or release the, journey, release the journey. Yeah, release the journey. <laughs> release the fan journey. And wish for. Hmm. I think that one would fit you more, Andrew. Wish granted, booms the genie, and you find yourself in the proud owner of a brand new Fry Lord French Fry Reheating Super System. There you go, Andrew. No more cold fries for you. Are you kidding me? We didn't break the Fire Links of Lower Wrath, the Two-Headed Snake of Serpentaria, and the Accountants of Babylon just so you could have hot fries. Andrew would fight you over that. But they come and quickly change their tunes when they taste the hot fries fresh out of your Fry Lord. They're so crisp. Neither rubbery nor soggy. This is powerful sorcery indeed. <laughs> so focused on defeating the big bad that we forgot about even greater evil. Suboptimal fry consistency. I mean, that's kind of true. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me of our way. Because everybody hates that feeling when you get, like, the soggy fries or, like, the ones that are, like, bricks. You eat everybody's fry, cafeteria fries for them, and you have a fry party. Uh, I don't know. I would definitely prefer the... Uh Soggy fried is a brick fry. Um, like, am sure. I going to break my tooth no, no. or? Yeah, I understand that, but I'm just saying if you could, ev I'm just Press saying pass. everybody knows that pain. Yeah. All right, go ranch, <laughs> go ranch your ghost gal. Hey, one minute, I gotta pause the other game I'm playing. God, I mean, God I'm say, Ganon can game. kill himself. <laughs> I'm playing Skyward Sword. That means there's no Ganon in the game. Oh, Sorry, so Goose can kill himself. <laughs> Goose? It's not. <coughs> I'm not even going to talk to you about it. Comic time, I guess. Rude. Yep. I do love her outfit. Santa's favorite hoe. <laughs> you just now read it. <laughs> you know, you know that's happening. I mm -hmm. want that sweater so bad. <laughs> I also love how Vera's got scarves around her snakes. That's adorable. Yee. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's the e oh, this is the eating one. Like, oh yes, yeah. I am eating. Totally eating real food. <laughs> Let's go. And go ahead. Agree. I'm ran to table. The forking spoon. <laughs> The salad. <laughs> My favorite silverware. I would laugh if one day it's like, oh, my favorite silverware. He dips his hands in silver, like molten silver. See, silverware. Backpack fills out two silver hands, a silver face, and a silver mouth. <laughs> okay. Hands his hands in the face and his mouth and devours lunch in a highly counter to. Okay then, I stand correct. No sitting, you're sitting. Anyway, now I gotta put. I mean, you weren't far off. All the silver is really bad for my skin. I didn't even know that one. Wait, no. Copyrighted music can't. Do um, that. sure. Everything's copyrighted at this point. This is so true. I'm copyrighted. You can't own me. I know. I'm, I'm sad to say. Alright, you're up first. Wait, who up first? You. Oh shit, it's me. Oh um, shit, it's that boy. Oh shit, it's that boy. Uh, I need some boldness.
There's no vile drink it. Dope parts all the time. I'm gonna go to bar mitzvah this time. And then man, Both have dual electricity. After telling goodbye to Taylor for always every year. My mommy told me to take uh, There you go. God damn it. It really just wants me to do this. Apparently, you are going to be a party scientist. Apparently. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh god, let's go pay attention again. I mean, oh, I don't think I've I have to pay attention. Ending, so. I'm kind of. Since I don't care. What's that? Oh, I was gonna do that. Who <laughs> <laughs> I? By the go for the present. present, go for the present. Go for the present. Yeah, fun. Go for Christmas. Christmas. That's what I was gonna do, so you gonna do it. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's do this! <laughs> okay, so anywhere specific? No. Um, hmm. Just choose whatever outfit you wanna see Vera. I like her outfit in this. Plus, I look hot. Hey. That day you spent while well, rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good to inspire, but since you gained a class creativity boost for the auditorium. Afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in the discussion, so you decide to convey it through music. Start singing, suddenly everyone else enjoys you as a kick ass music number. It's so amazing that everybody with whom you were arguing totally got your point and changed their minds once the song is over. There we go. But fuck all that. You're more excited to check out your new god so you can finally befriend Vera. Because if she keeps looking at you with an intense mix of disgust and disappointment, it will end up taking a toll on you. Okay, let's see. It says... If you want Vera Overland to like you, you need... 15 plus smarts, 11 plus charm, 10 plus money, and... Are you for real? My sister's not some kind of video game achievement for you to fulfill, you creep. <laughs> okay, ooh. You deserve that... I scammed you into buying this notebook full of doodles of dicks. Take as a reminder that you're a dick. Also, doodling dicks is unexpectedly funny. V.O. Effectively, after that paragraph, the guide becomes just a disturbing amount of doodles of dongs. Lovely. And one picture of it. Donkey Kong. You're not sure how. <laughs> 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 With the word expand under it. Well, Valerie has a point. This is on you for trying to buy your way into Vera's heart. You know, that's no thought of the way to do it. Honestly, yes. You need money to romance her. But you really want Vera for but you really want for Vera to like you, even if it's not on a romantic level. She seems to despise every living being with a few exceptions. You want to be one of those exceptions. Anyway, those doodle dongs won't do the trick, so maybe you could stop the shenanigans and actually ask someone who really knows her. You take your Ouija board and spell boobs on it with a glass and wait. Classic Okay, I'll guess we'll do the voices. Haha, <laughs> boobs. Looks like boobs. The old classics never die. You can actually spell boobs on a Ouija board. This joke has so many layers of fun. You're pretty sure it doesn't have any, that many layers of fun at all, but fuck it, it worked. So, tell me, boo, why are you summoned for a fan favorite Polly with such a great Ouija jokes? You tell her all about your quest to befriend Vera and ask her how she would do it. <laughs> tell my advice on befriending Vera? The best way is by being awesome, good looking, and overall great to a Polly degree. Fuck, I should have named myself better Polly then. She just comes at me with a knife. There could be only one. <laughs> there could be only <laughs> one, Polly. But that's really impossible for anyone who's not me, so I'm not Yay. sure. We clicked it first because I made her fail a school assignment. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, let's become best friends. You caused me to have an F in a class. Your looks give away how skeptical you are about this. What? Trust me, honey. I made her fail, and it was an instant connection. Go for it. Hmm. Only to be helpful to you or hilarious to me. It's a win-win situation. Bitch. Well, you do have a test tomorrow, and as I'm sure you are about this, you know your agency as a player is a rather limited here. So it's time to get, concoct a plan to make Vera fail her test. Problem is, Vera's a smart person you know, and so she will ace any test. But only if the test depends on smarts. Hmm. So just so you know, the checks are creativity and bold. Make the teacher remember the spirit of the 60s. Traditional testers just impressive tools <coughs> to impress students' inventive thinking. 
and abduct the teacher and force feed him anime until he doesn't want to finish the test on an smarts anymore, but a bunch of epic over the top bullshit. I want it to be the bottom. Just but... choose the bottom one then. No. It doesn't matter. The 60s, man. Choose. What? Wait, you fail either way? Yes. yes. Because the guide's bullshit. Oh my god. You're getting bad advice from everyone here. That's so... <laughs> the guide's fucked. You should have chosen the one you wanted to choose. I know, I'll do that for now on. You think accomplishing this would be hard, but it all takes... An... Is suggesting to your teacher while you put <coughs> the who on in the background. Who are you? Who, 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 who? It's almost as if this fucker won an excuse not to prepare the test at all. Then he goes into blabbering on about the freedom of those years, the entire generation living as if there were no tomorrow, leaving all the social and environmental issues for the future generations to solve. Uh. Uh. <laughs> A just scholar. You leave before you get depressed about your generation's prospects. The next day, you head into the test and ready to use not your, your brains and your teachers to not just work. What is this garbage? To find the smell of teen spirit? <laughs> Bacon, sweat, monster energy drink. Oh no, you forgot. You Nirvana. Forgot. Nirvana, there you go. What does that have anything to do with the XX century history? <laughs> Still won't give us an answer. The teacher smirks and points out the Vera needs to be so rational to the demise of today's youth, the void of the spirit of Woodstock. He admits the fearing that you all have just become another brick on the wall. That's a fucking Pink Floyd reference. That song happened 10 years after Woodstock. Not even mentioning Nirvana is from the 90s. <laughs> but of course, knowing nothing in this test gives a shit about actual historical facts. Uh. No one could pass this joke of a test. <laughs> ah, finally, a test that truly speaks to me. Actually, Andrew, you're reading. You guys gotta do something in this. <laughs> Nobody mm -hmm. cares if somebody's reading. <sighs> Fine. You don't have to Teacher. do a voice to say it. Oh. <laughs> Teacher is the answer to a course. The teacher says nothing but just writes an A plus on Liam's test while smirking. Ugh. What? Aha! You're gonna ignore me. Read. <laughs> nah. You do it. Oh, I once smelled some teenagers' butts at the mall. It smelled like sweat, insecurities, and farts. The Close teacher enough. says nothing but just writes an A++ on Scott's warhead. Best boy. That's not even a real grade. I've had enough of this bullshit. I quit. You will hear from my lawyers. She has left. You're still pretty sure unsure how this will work at all, but you have taken life insurance. Just in case. I'm dead. Later that day, you find Vera in the halls and tell her you orchestrated the test. Uh, you did what? While Vera is looking for a dagger in her purse, you try to explain that Polly revealed to you that making her fail a test was how she prevented her. W what? Making me fail? Ah, uh, oh, fuck. That dumb train wreck of a ghost. Eh, we not far off. <sighs> it wasn't because she made me fail an assignment, you fuckhead. It was more complex than that. Aw, memories. When Polly joined the school after dying, they put the two of us together for an assignment. I was not thrilled. I love how the the snakes have like little dagger eyes, like pissed. Hmm. I'm not a fan of meeting new people, and this dumbass was the most obnoxious bitch ever. <laughs> Asked me to part it with her every five minutes. <laughs> Just angry beer, like no, I'm not having fun. Also, can we talk about claw crab claws in the background there? Mm -hmm. And then it, what can only be assumed is Sentai Ranger from just look it up. Like me in the future, put one bit of effort into this and look up Sentai Rangers. Put the picture up right now. You won't. You won't. <laughs> future. You just you. see me, future me, <laughs> writing. You bet, motherfucker. <laughs> the text. Future you is flipping pass you off. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Probably. Well, because it was impossible, so I agreed to go to a party for a couple hours in exchange for her leaving me alone. It was the worst. Not bad. Until it wasn't. I got tanked drunk. Like, I'm talking fucked up wasted. <sighs> yeah, we partied till dawn and totally failed that assignment. Who was given by a female werewolf wearing braces? Okay. I was bummed and tr Polly tried to cheer me up once she realized it was kind of her fault. But she didn't get it. I need to be the best. Better, Brian. <laughs> I need to be better than you. I was born to conquer life. 
You see, this world is full of jerks and idiots who let them meet you down, who will hurt you. The conquering life is the best way of giving them a big fuck you. When you sit on the throne, everyone who betrayed you or abandoned you, they realize they were wrong for thinking so little of you. I told this to Polly, and then she got super intense. Gosh, I remember it. <coughs> and then she made out with me. It was kind of weird, but I was into it. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not a make-out pose right there, like... <laughs> face is about to slap. She listened to me and apologized. Mm. But she also told me that she worried I'd burn out all my ambition and forget that in the end. Life here is here for us to live in. And then that dumbass promised to help me conquer life, if I promised to never forget to feast on life, too. She would be with me all the way till the crown was mine. But we could would also celebrate life together. And then we made out. Hmm. <laughs> it was nice. <coughs> anyway, as nice as it was remembering this, the important lesson here is you can't get me to like you just by making me fail an Goodbye. assignment. Do that again, and the only thing you'll get is disemboweled by me. Joke's on you! Wait, I'm not Brian. Damn it, I can't remove my organs. <laughs> uh, but you might be partially somewhat made of fire, so they can't- you know <laughs> Joke's on you! You burn your hands! Whoa. I might be made of fire and not actually have organs, technically. Ha <laughs> ha! You forget that she can turn you to stone. Hmm. How could- wait, how can you turn fire to stone? Yeah, I mean, technically, it, she can turn any- I'm pretty sure a Gorgon can turn anything with a, a, a life spark. Anything that has eyes. <laughs> another <laughs> thing- alive to stone. No, another yeah. more important factor, how do you think you get fire stones from Pokemon? Uh. Shit! <laughs> no, that's exactly it. <laughs> yep, you just turn Ifrit to stone with a Gorgon's gaze, and you get a stone that can involve your EV into a That's not what I meant. Read your stat games. Fine. <coughs> Joe Town Marilyn Lane was nice, but you realize that you, at some point during her monologue, she stabbed you as a reminder. You lose negative two charm and boldness. Let's go. Don't worry, Greed. We'll get you to bed soon. <laughs> I still have to work tomorrow. I know, but you, we'll get you to bed, like, right as soon as we can. Ugh. Losing is winning, except it's not. <laughs> Thanks, coach. Worry, Scott. Losing bad. Loser Scott is bad, Scott. I don't want to be a bad Scott. <laughs> Belchy kid is best, kid. Yes. You right. <laughs> All right, this one. Where's this actual poker? According to the rules, you won. I remember any of these rules. Am I drunk? Guess what, Andrew? You're reading. All right. Uh, yeah, I put some effort in. And then the <sighs> now we can Polly and Scott and pick up you, oh, Blue, man, and Christmas. <laughs> in their suspicious Technicolor van. That's a little strange. And the five of you embark on your favorite pastime solving spooky <laughs> mysteries. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Oh my Ooh, god. Bro. What? Sorry, I just used these mysteries as an excuse to get super baked. So she's our Shaggy. Paul, you got you gotta focus. Ms. Maleficent said a scary human was unhaunting her house. <laughs> Where is she gonna have to move? I <laughs> know. Don't worry, Scott. I'm gonna smoke even more weed and eat pizza. And neither is mistletoe. <laughs> How Actually, is he gonna help us solve the mystery? There's a mystery. No, Polly! <coughs> I can't solve this mystery on my own. I need somebody to help me. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No, no, start screaming help as loud as you can, like uh, Leap Beat Agent. No, no. <gasps> start, say, someone help me. Quite an estimation point appears above his head. <laughs> a whole bunch of LARPers just to show up. <laughs> You'd love to help, but you really, what you really need is the help is the brains of your smartest pal. Wow, it's that's kind of bad because Andrew, you are the smartest. I believe he is. Yeah. 
Oh, I'll say, who do I want to F over? I don't know. He sells messengers for breakfast and lunch for dinner, also between two meals. They can salute their way out of a paper bag. I can't do shit. I don't think I'm I'm it. What is your stat? I don't know. I'm not paying attention to that shit. <laughs> Smart is not one of the ones I need to focus on. I think- Oh, then I pick you. You're Thank right. You. <laughs> Hooray. Go ahead, Andrew. That's a, okay, there's a weird five there. He has the l less smarts. What? The oh, two well. of you. So, okay. Oh my god, the game is smarted. It's opposite day. <laughs> it is opposite day. With the help of Blue's massive intellect, you build an elaborate trap using a bowling ball, a clothesline, seven gallons of seven gallons of cottage cheese, and a motorcycle helmet. Sounds about right for Scooby Doo. Hmm, that's a scummy human. Trying to find out who this guy really is. Rip his face is. off, rip his face off. Rip his face off, rip his face off. <gasps> Wait, what? Chauncey's a real estate leprechaun. And they're not you at all. all. That's right. <laughs> Chuckles Chauncey. Tonight, right, right, so that is. Chuckles uh, Chauncey. I wanted to scare off Miss Maleficent so I could turn her apartment into haunted condos. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for... Um... Us a meddling kids? kids? No, Scream Johnson. If it weren't for those seven <laughs> gallons of cottage cheese, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. That's delicious. Yeah, that was real. That was just super stoked. <laughs> He's on the ground, like, choking. So you also hate the... You have to all pause you all get, get, get way, way dumber. dumber. But you and Blue each get too crazy when you plus one fun. It, like, causes your stats to go negative <laughs> in smarts. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done anything for a while. Bro, yeah. Tumblr! <laughs> and unfortunately, I already finished. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, something, something else. Show something. me that money. <laughs> Buy the present. Buy the no present. Refunds. It's all Christmas. Agreed. No. Wow. That's a really good sound. Let's do this. Um. <laughs> Kid needs that, so. Uh. I will be born in class. This is learn learning valuable lessons. Sometimes I have to and it's blah. We all think this like a thousand times. I need more. And now, now it's time to go back to your Vera befriending adventure. Because sometimes failure doesn't stop you from achieving your goals. Sometimes you need to have been given a best two out of three in your attempts to unlock the dark side of the, this moon you've called life. <laughs> ah, God's ways are inscrutable. When I say God, I mean whichever powerful and most likely very handsome entity has designed this absurd world. Jesse Cox just grinning as big as he can. But all this meta nonsense ends when you crash into the second of the three people you realize Vera seems to tolerate. Hey. That's just because she can manipulate him. You're not gonna talk to him? And he is best boy. Yes. Hey, better Brian, have you seen a raccoon glued to 14 <laughs> Glued to, not... Have you seen a raccoon with 14 spoons glued to it? Just take a moment. I mean, it might be exactly the same thing. I shall now make a megaphone out of a squirrel and a megaphone. He uses a squirrel, some rope, and a megaphone. Sorry. And I think I have to have the wrong raccoon now. <laughs> Scott, where's the raccoon? We need it now. Hmm. I think I lost it. I just found this raccoon. Are we sure this isn't the one? He's, <laughs> he's only a raccoon glued to a huge butter <laughs> That's totally a different ass raccoon. Dude. Fuck. That raccoon was our only chance of winning the soup eating contest. What? Oh, bro. Uh, uh, bro. Don't question it. Can don't we try it. it with this one? Yeah. Nah, I'll leave it. I'm sure that stupid raccoon is the key component of someone else's stupid plot line. <laughs> just hear the narrator just looking in from the hallway, just like. No. no you, you don't hear him, you see him. Just... I'm sorry, you know my attention span is short. Nah, that's my bad. I was the mastermind of this plan. I should have planned this better. 
You think they're finally <coughs> done with this raccoon slash soup situation, so you interrupt them to explain your own stupid plot. <laughs> Vera, sheesh. I respect that murderous motherfucker, and we team up if we have some one in common to fuck up to death. But befriending her? That just sounds like a high risk stabbing situation. <laughs> Looks down at the knife in your side. Oh, you already see. And not the fun sexual. <laughs> nah, bro. Vera's the best. We're best bros. You What's stop him and ask nice him. Nice stabbing how he between got friends. Oh, it was simple. We just found we had common interests and built a bro ship from there. That's actually very wholesome. <laughs> I hope it wasn't anything related to raccoons covered in silverware or soup contests. That's our bro bond. <laughs> That's actually how they became friends. Of course. Ra it was a raccoons in covered in forks the first time. This is just their better version. Mm. Nah, bro. With her, it was. Wait, I just had an idea, bro. What if we use this knife raccoon to enter that raccoon joust <laughs> we heard about the other day? Oh <laughs> Scott, you're a genius. <laughs> I think we gave that dream up just because our stupid spoon raccoon couldn't hold its lance. The answer was in front of us all along. Just strap more knives to a raccoon. Fuck you, nature. <laughs> just a second. I mean, they're pretty good at holding things even without that. Yeah, raccoon's got some. Very quick second. Sort of. No, you're not allowed. No. What else you can't do? Uh -huh. Fuck you, nature. You may give up. We have raccoons, no opposable thumbs, but Damien and Scott know better. They give them knives! <laughs> can I be the mastermind of this plan this time? <laughs> Just in the background, can I be the mastermind? No. no. Fuck yeah, you can, Scott. Scott. Hooray! No, Scott, don't do it, it's a trap. Yeah, leave without telling you what interest to help Scott befriend Vera. Damn. It's up to you now to think of an interest you can have in a common herd <coughs> with her. Think fast. Snakes. <laughs> Probably. That's Thank you, Groomy. You just need to find a one. snake. You guys have put all the famous snakes in your head. Foolproof <laughs> way. Wouldn't they cook the on my one. fire That's hair? The they would cook on my fire hair. You know, death threats. Maybe you can become a death threat. Pen pal. Be proactive and start sending your. Alright, yeah. You look for a snake nest somewhere in the. <laughs> somewhere in the high school. Luckily, uh. You find three different snake nests in less than half an hour. Use the most fashionable one and take it to the bathrooms. Once there, you put all the snakes in your hair and get a hair comb and... Oh no, the snake start to viciously bite your scalp. Who could have predicted this? Despite the ha fact your hair is fire! <coughs> you fall onto the floor and start snakes. screaming for help while bleeding. The snakes are stronger than you planned. Your best bet now is to wait until someone enters the bathrooms and help you. You hope it's not Vera, though. You're sure the snakes biting into your scalp is are totally not that fashionable snake hair you'd hope to make a good first impression with. Oh, not Vera for once. Good, <laughs> oh, Polly. You scream for help, but the venom in your bloodstream is so f is fucking with your brain's functions, and you can imagine an agonized shriek. Classic. Ah, uh, classic. Better brain. Always with the jokes. Better brain. <sighs> could this be? Th could this one be better than the all-time classic boobs in the Ouija board? <laughs> Nah, that one was peak comedy. Boobs. What a joker. Your tongue is starting to taste like death. <laughs> Miranda! Save. By now, you can only make eye contact while in painful sounds. <laughs> Get. <laughs> mm. Mm. Doesn't matter, no one's doing mm. that's all needing to do voices. No. Mm -hmm. No voices. No, 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 no. Like Kit's reading. Hey, hey, hey. Kit's mm -hmm. trying to read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you poor ugly commoner. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, good for her. I guess. <laughs> this is it. After all those years of risking your life stupidly, grooming your newly haired, newly acquired hair made of snakes is the one thing that's taken you down. I mean, with all the dumb shit we do, you think it would have been something like that? Oh, Fuck. Dear. <laughs> eh, third time's a charm. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Even the narrator's speech was Just shit. give up. 
<sighs> this is something to do with that time. You've made me fail a test, doesn't it? You make eye contact in a way that says both yes, and please, if you're still mad, at least spare me from do dying here. And also, does this hairdo look hot? Sl yes slash no. <laughs> <sighs> she hisses harmoniously to the snakes, and they calm down and leave. Then she puts an ointment on you. <sighs> Stay put. It's a venom antidote. Why does she have a venom antidote with her? Don't look at me like has that. Venom. <laughs> I know. A girl sometimes needs to keep people she poisoned alive because it, I need to extract info from them or is kinky, kinky foreplay. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, are you going to tell me why the fuck you are doing that? Having a head full of snakes is not as easy as it seems. I mean, actually, yeah, if you think about it, from a Gorgon's perspective, that'd probably be a little hard. Ugh. Did Polly tell you we became friends by getting bitten by snakes or something? You tell her about what Scott said. What? What? Hmm. I think I get it. I mean, that is kind of true. Hmm. Whoa, time flies, huh? I forgot all about that. It was like, what, six years ago? I'm into jogging. A body like this doesn't maintain itself by magic. I've been into it for years. That's actually kind of a cute concept. Her hair bundled up like that. Mm -hmm. And lucky me, that dumbass puppy person was into jogging too, apparently. Hi! I guess he thought sharing that interest was going to and going to the same school, and so they made us friends. Uh. <laughs> of course, he tries to tune him out. Oh. To me, that turned in him into an even more of an annoyance, to be honest. But I guess this wasn't obvious to him, as he kept trying to run into me week after week. I bet he actually tried to, like, body slam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a train. Oh. <sighs> God knows, I tried changing the time and place of my routine to avoid him. <laughs> Cheerleader Scott! But it was oh, useless, but... as he managed to be a living nightmare, wherever, whenever. Ugh. That dumbass was so oblivious, he was convinced we were best buds already. I mean, he's bringing you water, bitch. <coughs> <That's> nice. <laughs> there you go. I tried to convince myself that putting up with his stupidity was another way of testing my endurance. As it paid dividends, after more than one month, he finally stopped making my life impossible. It was... Hmm. It was a relief. Aww. That day, I heard people commenting he was sick or something, so maybe it wasn't the end of it. Uh. I remember getting upset and saying something like, at least then his parents could be the ones dealing with his daily shenanigans for once. And that would have been all if it was not for stupid cousins appearing from nowhere, all confused about my comment, wondering what I was talking about. I mean, they do appear out of nowhere. That is like... No, 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 no. That's just spooky high school right there. Is just appear out of nowhere when com comedic sense happens. I mean, it's a pack. Yeah, you don't just miss, like, five wolves appearing out of nowhere. Since Scott has or no he. parents. <laughs> you see, better, Brian. Scott is an under idiot. But I knew back, even back then, that he meant no harm to no one. Ugh. It pisses me off, you know. Why you have children if you're not going to take care of them? Oh my goodness. Yeah, because I remember she was abandoned. Mm hmm. I always tell myself that if I become my best self, no one will ever dare abandon me ever again. And the ones who did will see how wrong they were. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, the world is full of awful people no matter what. We live in the hell of the living. So I guess a good path to happiness is taking the time to seek out who and what in the midst of the hell are not hell. <coughs> then make them endure. Give them space. I just want that in life. Not to be betrayed again. I want loyalty, better Brian. I want sincerity. Oh, oh! I brought soup that evening to Scott. And you know the first thing he did? Hmm. He apologized for not joining me on my jogging routine that day. That's because he's best boy. And also a big dumbass. Oh yeah, that's true as well. Yeah, I mean, that can never be I'll denied. Be exclusive. Like, both of those are facts. Like, written in the history books, fact. He is an idiot, but he is the best idiot in the world. So it might be the biggest dumbass I know, but he's my dumbass. Oh. And I will skin alive anyone who hurts him. Again, sounds like Vera. Same as with that drunk, chaotic ghost that has inhabited my life. Anyway, Scott was right, I suppose. We became friends over a shared interest. What a crazy life, huh? I hope that little story helps you 
into not acting out some sort of deadly cultural appropriation. I have enough dumbasses in my life, and not enough anti venom to spare every time <laughs> you have stupid ideas on how to get me to like you. Pathetic. Idiot. She leaves. You stay a bit in the bathrooms, reflecting on the risk of cultural appropriation, the loss of meaning and significance of the cultural realities from smaller cultures that have been swallowed by bigger and sensitive cultures. That and getting poisoned by venomous snakes. There you yep. go. As much as you gain insight on how to respect culture, you still lose to creativity and to charm. Um, sure. This is a wordy one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <coughs> What's well, a lot of backstory? Well, true, and you do need to. We do need to learn more about Vera. Oh yeah, I'm so happy we got. It is gonna... wonderful Where's to my... see like Vera growing, and just again, yeah. that is a common thing between the two of them that they. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love this game. It almost feels like you're waiting for new episodes. Again, yeah, the like characters. there's the stupid, <laughs> like there's definitely like the coughing greed. But there's also, like, the dumb bullshit, like, Damien wants to punch the sun, and then there's, like, the heartfelt moments. It's literally, like... Yeah. God. Alright. Uh, you're up, my dear. Oh, I am? Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's Christmas time. Come on, grab your friends. Let's go to very distant lands with Christmas the zombie and Oz the... Shapeless. Oz the... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm... I need more boldness. Yeah, you definitely do. Three, glass and, uh, three wild hyenas. Who the fuck runs security here? <coughs> because I'm in an event, I'm still doing. You walk over a, a some semi-conscious. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just in there oh, semi-conscious, yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> I just set fire into an entire <laughs> deck of cards. Yes, yes, you did. Of course. I have to keep doing me <laughs> shitty hands. Not <laughs> necessarily. Oh, don't worry, Greed. We'll have you out here days. soon, brother. You don't deserve to be I sick did. for the holidays, buddy. Well, I guess I didn't necessarily need to set it on fire. But since when is that, that stuff? stuff? Sorry, I just love doing that gravelly voice. You know what? Next time, you're you. I'll let you do. Yeah, Damien. I'll be Damien. Yeah. yeah. Wait. So <laughs> who would I be to replace you? Run. <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, Kit's Damien. I'm Miranda. Yep. And we're both going after who we <laughs> voice. Of course. Mm. <laughs> you know, the perfect poker alternative. Bold oh. and money. Bold and money? Well, yeah, that would be money. And that's bold as shit. Yeah. Why did I think of that? I figured it before I died. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Owen! <laughs> Knowing how well you died now is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I was sitting in bed in the mirror right next to it. <laughs> I guess Vera and I split the money? Yes, I guess. I'm very confused at how you win this game. I win every time! Because I don't die! I oh mean, my. that's not wrong? <laughs> To win is to not die. <laughs> I got how many days? Okay, we're not that far off. Like, we literally, like, we got three more things. Yeah. Afterwards, Miranda beckons you to the darkened corner. Skoke is over here. Phase one operation, making the unpopular news a success. I have attempt to was... <laughs> I keep trying to fail. <laughs> Alright, pick whatever, Andrew. Let's see if we can do it. Hopefully, if I can, there's a charm option. I can definitely fail that. Uh, More money and... Money is bottom. That was like charm. Yay! You don't really look like him. You just morph your body into him. <laughs> How about now? Oh, still don't I look like shape. him. I still look like me in that shape. Okay. I'm Liam. No, I'm Liam. I'm Spartacus. Give me the rupee. Give me the rupee. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, my story first. Alright. 
Oh wait, Lunch it's lunchtime. Time. Damn it! <coughs> okay, so I gotta leave that for Kit, so... Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> you okay, buddy? Yeah. Right. And on this day we lost but... a brave soul. You know what? I'm gonna go for a present. Hey, stranger. No, probably not a good idea, actually. Really? Yeah, probably not. Why? Could it supersede Just the ending? I don't know. Nah, I'll I just know back out. I don't know what happens if you get, like, I somehow get the drawing of a kid that I've been trying to grind for. Greed. <laughs> Always believe in yourself! <laughs> You can read this one if you want. You pull out your bottle of Brother Caliente's father's sons and the holiest ghost pepper ketchup <coughs> and dump it on Damien's dogs. Mm, yeah, finally a sauce of... Hot enough for... Oh, fuck, my soul is melting. You have no soul. Joke's on you. Always embrace youth. Power through, <coughs> Damien. The heat of your feeling is just the fires of determination. No fire I can handle. This ketchup is fucking concentrated and I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> <laughs> One of my students has died. That's great. Allergic reactions are just weakness. Leaving the body, Damien. Keep it up. You're doing great. I'm pretty sure that's wrong and dangerous advice, coach. <laughs> I quit. Good job. Hooray! No. Oh, <coughs> Hooray! Hmm. Scott was a painting. Sure. I here. Yep. Hey there. Gonna sit here? Or? Yes. Okay. We're, stuck We're just gonna sit here for a bit, folks. This. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Again, people, we do apologize for trying to keep this quick, but it was more for Veer's ending and also because greed's sick. We don't want our boy sick. Correct. We want our boy our happy and healthy. To happen. He brought this upon himself, he knows what he did. <laughs> you knew the consequences! <laughs> you knew no, the risks! It wasn't his idea to play this. I'm yeah. done. Well, we still sick, did. so... <laughs> That's everything to me. <coughs> Two bar missed up? An alpaca? What? Bar mitzvah and alpaca, alright. I mean, that's what she basically said. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh my god. Hmm. Specifically, a llama. Aww. Exactly, a llama. You've ever heard. <laughs> or something. Alright! <laughs> oh, damn! I'm a gassy boy. Love. Did I sweater? Most nice looking boss. Ah, disgusting! 
Yes. <laughs> Miranda to find. Also, oh, that's a lovely little coat for her. Yes. And of course, Liam's not covering his arms all the way because that would Fashion. be too mainstream. I mean, I do that too. You don't see me calling it mainstream. Or not mainstream. Or <laughs> fuck. You I ruined mean, yourself. Yeah, you ruined the joke. Honest, honest. Get I'm out of here. You I'm played yourself. Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> I love that this is a text-heavy game that I can literally play another game. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you like games, so I put video games in you. I heard you like outdated memes, so I put outdated memes in your games. Putting memes in memes. Memeception. I put dreams in memes in teams. <laughs> My head just exploded. You just hear a gore splatter. <laughs> Well, Matt's dead. His mind couldn't said handle you were it. alive in the first place. Same. We know the truth. That's a hard truth there. We know the truth. Okay, real. almost done. <laughs> we're nearly there, boys and girls. Hey, Christmas! Oh god, I'm first. Hey, Krimbus. Krimbus. Krimba. Hey, Krimba. Karma. <laughs> and cough. It's cough, miss. It's a cough miss miracle! I'm getting some fun. Uh, your phone was 13. <laughs> I don't care. I'm getting some fun. Fine. Hey, and plus you get to handle you hang with uh, Juan this magical, small magical Latino cat. I love Juan the small one. I'm glad he is in Monster Camp. So happy. Hey, boo! Uh, this is progressing well, but we got a very limited sample size. It's time to increase our sample size. He just pulls out an AK. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my new party grenade. It uh, makes a ghost party anywhere. <laughs> it's just a disc. It's a boogie bomb from Fortnite. I oh no no, it's just a regular grenade, but so it makes more ghosts for the party. <laughs> I got. I don't know what's the right answer, and I don't want to just end on a failure. But I can't help. It. Uh, possess the body of a deceased or bouncy castle. A oh, bouncy castle um, sounds like fun. Yeah, bouncy castle sounds like fun. Yeah. It's almost guaranteed to be fun. Mm hmm. But you don't really. you have the most fun. Yeah. I just don't know if I want to fail or not. Will I still be able to get Polly if I fail this last question? <laughs> You'll get the secret ending, but not Polly, I think. Yeah. Which sucks, because I keep trying to go after Polly and I keep not getting it. Look at my life. I grinded for the friggin'. I, I'm still grinding yeah. for the ending with the. Like castle. Oh, that was creative. Okay. Now we know. Yep. And now I just have the battle. G I yeah, G I know. Know. <laughs> the other half is violence. The other half. Oh look, the ghost party grenade. The other half is guns. Let's do this. Gun. <laughs> okay. Well. Time to see if I can get my boldness down to zero. So. Why do you need your boldness to zero? Well, I'm just seeing if I can get, or sorry, to one. Because I've got charm at one, money at one. If I can get boldness to one, then I've got a matching set. Now money is three. Fuck! Wait, oh shit, I'm skipping through. Fuck! <sighs> Good job. Yeah. <sighs> That's okay. Future me. We're doing a bit of editing here. Skip through to this ending point. Put it in. <coughs> so to avoid any further risks, you decide not to spam the enter button. You decide to go through the sorts of all its nonsense. Hey, stranger. Of course <laughs> we go to Valerie, you bitch. <laughs> hey, isn't my favorite garbage buying fool. Better, Brian. No refunds. What? You're unhappy with your shiny Gorgon befriending guide? No refunds, chump. You bought that upon yourself. Like, do you really believe my sis won't see through your schemes trying to be a certain way just for her to like you? Hmm. You really aren't clueless when it comes to Vera, aren't you? Give me your money. I guess I can review why we became friends for a price. Let's say 15 money. And don't even look at me like that. I don't give a fuck if you're in debt over this. <laughs> Isn't that the price of befriending Vera Oberlin? I mean, she's not wrong. Like, she'll put you in debt anyway. 
Fuck it. You lose 15 money. Great. Grab a pencil and be ready to get some notes on this. Vera and I are good friends because... Ugh. We're fucking family, you gobble dumbass. I'm sorry, uh -huh. you don't know how fucking far I will go from this bullshit. I know. She is left with your 15 money. <coughs> Yikes. Well, three. You yeah, have my three. That's that. No, no, remember, she said, I don't care if you're in debt. Okay, you don't have any money options left, so now boils down to how do you become part of the Overlink land, I guess. Cats. <laughs> Cats? <laughs> Bring a delicious... Dish made with the love so the Doberlin family welcomes you to the Thanksgiving dinner or slay your audition to become part of the cast the musical. You think you're a cat, Valerie? Bitch, you don't know. You practice a lot to become a true cat, which ends up being unnecessary. It turns out whoever dresses up like a cat names themselves a fancy sounding name can be part of the cast. Your name is Frumpus Von Meow. Frumpus Von Meow. The next night, you put a hell of a show. You dance, you purr, you scratch. You have no idea what the plot of the musical is, but it's hella funny, and you're sure it would make a great movie. Apparently, you've chosen from all the cats to ascend to the cat, the heavenside layer, and come back to a new life? What? You ask if you can meet Oberlin in this new life. The other cats have no idea what that means, but it doesn't stop them from saying, of course you can. Yes! You leave ecstatic about having accomplished your goal. The new cats wave you goodbye, wishing luck in your new life. You run and dance till you get to the Oberlin household. You ring the bell and wait for the best. She just slams the door in your face after looking at you in the cat's outfit. What? What are you no. doing in my house? Well, at. I'm not inside yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a cat. I let myself in. Come on, Andrew. And why are you wearing a stupid cat suit? <sighs> no, wait. I think I know the right answer here. Who gave you the stupid advice this time? Valerie's just in the background. <laughs> you tell her. Val! What's up? What? <laughs> she was outside watching in the bushes. That's why she covered it in snow. What? Oh, hey, stranger. Ugh. Val, did you tell Better Brian she should try and become part of my our family in order to become friends with me? Uh, no. <sighs> I mean, I told her we were friends because, basically because we're family. The rest of all is all her own merit. I must admit, she always finds a way to outperform herself. You must give credit where it's due. I mean, with all the stupid shit we do in Monster Prom, we should get credit for doing these things. <coughs> Fuck my life. Look, better Brian, I love Valerie to death. She's like my better half. And sure, being sisters plays a big role in that, but that being family doesn't magically do the trick, you idiot. If it was that easy as being family, that'd mean I should have any resemblance of love for whoever my birth parents are. Hmm. Now, my family is built through the moments that define your relationship. <laughs> We're going to flashback time, aren't we? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Tiny. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's too cute. I can't. No, that's can't the thumbnail that. right there. That's, that's the thumbnail. Cute. Oh my god. And meanwhile, we got Val over here to side him the evil. Grin. Wait, what? To Val on the side. Oh there. yeah, yeah, Val, <laughs> Val, yeah. Also, can we talk about like how that, like, the one on the right looks like Bendy? Like that's Demon Ink Bendy right there. As I was saying, it's not about being officially family, but about the moments that bear true significance. When Val and I were little, it wasn't strange for other kids to sometimes wonder how we were sisters if we looked so different. Hmm. Oh. You and Tiny are... Oh, it hurts! And wait, Cat wait, Dad! Wait, wait, wait. Cat Dad. Oh, God. Uh, Adorable little deer <laughs> on the right, and then baby... Wait, she was a band as a baby? Yeah. Fuck off, those parents. Oh, did we not do that ending with you? No. Our dad uh. was pretty transparent about it, so we knew, and I explained it every time. The day we were both born on December 22nd. Looks at phone. Right, we're the 23rd, man. I was left at the hospital. An abandoned newborn. Now I was both happy and heartbroken since our mom died giving birth to Val. And when he saw me, also motherless, she instantly knew he was going to be going to father. <sighs> some kids understood. Oh. Some men did. Oh.
Even the snakes are sad, except for the one on the left there is just pissed, like, I'm gonna bite your dicks. Yeah. Some kids stayed confused, and yet some kids mocked me. It was okay. I had no issue with being adopted, but those kids, they were all a new level of mean. They implied there was something wrong with me that made my parents abandon me in the first place. Yellow. Sometimes something wrong that they were sure <coughs> would make my new father abandon me sooner or later, too. Ugh. Then, of course, Val comes in, Aww. beat their ass! Val and overheard them and stick of wait, wait, wait. Val overheard them and take care of the situation. Who English doesn't exist? What are you talking about? This yeah, what the fuck? This, this is monster like, prom. This is a translation of a Japanese game. What are we talking about? No, stick no, in hand. The creator of the game is Spanish. Even more sense. <laughs> of course I did. No one messes with my sis. Again, who the fuck speaks English? What even is that? We're all talking so, Francophone. Yeah, that was so awesome. This stuff. It was awesome. Well, when Dad came looking for us later that day, I wasn't okay yet. <laughs> oh. Aww. And then just oh, Val, like, hey, guess what I did? I put I, three I kids in the hospital. I beat kids up. He asked us what happened, and I told him everything. After that, me crying was making him realize I wasn't good enough. That was time to get rid of me. Of course, our dad's the best at around, and he made me understand that whoever, however I was, oh. I was perfect to him, and we were family till the end of days. And then, of course, Val just, yay, climb dad. Onward, double steed. Yeah. There's gonna be that more people. <laughs> dad just comes <laughs> up, starts punching out kids. Best day ever. Totally me as a dad. It's the best day. No, no, no. Best day ever as, like, that plays as Valerie's dad. Like, their dad is just grabbing kids and throwing them at trees. <laughs> like, does, like, You're trying to try and climb down. <laughs> does a Bowser. I'm not like, the only a, one wow. anymore. Super Mario 64 Bowser. So long, gay Bowser throw of one kid. What? 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 You are. Per perfect V. Hmm. I had to do it. Thanks, Val. <laughs> the real story here is that I got to keep that stick. It was a sick stick. <laughs> yep. I hang it over my uh, bed. Oh, shut oh, up. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now, the thing here is that family isn't just a word. These moments are the ones that truly matter. Val and my dad have always been there for me. They accept me for who I am while pushing me to be my best self. Because they care for me. Fuck. I'm smiling so much right now. <sighs> oh, so yes, they are a family. But not for being cats. Or part of the musical cats. <laughs> I love how she drew herself. Like her snake hair is just like flower petals. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't need a lot of people around me, better, Brian. If I let someone into my life, it's for real. You know, only people I know will stick around. Like me? Hmm. Like you. Thanks. <laughs> I knew that. Anyway, Thanks. we're in the middle of dinner. Are you just going to stand in our doorway, or do you want to do a silly cat dance for us? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to say if that's cool if you want to join us. Oh. Shut up. It's lovable, Cinderella. But sure, do you want to? You join them and you all have a nice dinner together. It's chill and cool. And you only lose another ten money to Valerie <laughs> somehow. She stole it from your wallet. Alright. Yeah, there's no way you're getting out of this storyline. A lot of money. <laughs> it's, it's it involves Valerie and and Vera. They're no, gonna no, take Vera your money you till you die. Money from you. It's only Valerie that takes money from you and True enough. <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll see Coach on a shitter. That'll teach you. <laughs> and a very concerned look. Okay. Um, that was Boy, a I, I, I know. Um, okay. Also... <laughs> this has got to be said right here and right now. Just because of that ending and other things. You guys are my family too. <laughs> yeah. That crazy dumbass family that just 
We get into the dumbest shit. Fuck shit up all the time. Yep. Any guesses on what these are? I'm gonna say... Banana smarts and, banana. and... Charm? Banana and banana. Uh, which would you say is which? I would say... I think the bottom one's great. Yeah. And the top one feels like maybe small parts are creative. Okay! Got it. Out of the way, you fucked. Mm hmm. Nanny? <laughs> I was trying to send it. <coughs> Why did I have plastic in my mouth? I don't know why. Why do you? I don't know either. Mm hmm. Stats. <coughs> yes. Stats. Oh, Intelligence. Look. Go someplace, Greed. Go. Go, go, go. You God, go please. <coughs> <coughs> Gotta call apparently fast. You became a dodgeball god. Yeah, apparently. I got that achievement too. Oh yeah, I think I, I think I've gone to the thing every time. Yeah, you have. Actually, you have. <laughs> wow. It's a mean green mother from outer space. And I'm bad. Bad. Green bad. I'm just a mean green mother from outer space. And I'm. I do have. So, <coughs> I know, buddy. So it almost destroys the. We're just at the end. <coughs> We're almost done, there, buddy. Yeah. I can't watch yeah. it go to bed. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What were you saying, Scott? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get messing up more. Juggle, juggle, juggle. Do it. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Question: Did that say bold? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's your lowest stat, other than money. So, is it is it not possible to fail a Scott check like that? No, no, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not. Like, I've seen notes recently suggesting uh, oh, that okay, there might be it. two levels of priority. Okay, so Hi. I gotta pick Vera, of course, right? Yes. Yeah. Unless Valerie somehow showed up. Mm hmm. Okay. Hey, you. I love how we both have like almost matching outfits. Never knows that. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna <laughs> try. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Howdy. All right. Okay. That's not it's like never you. great to go first. Yeah. Nope. Uh, you and me. Psh. Uh, so mainstream. I only date blue inanimate objects. Wait. He doesn't have the creativity. Don't ask him to never mind it. Please respect my sexual preference. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. My boy. Pat, 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 pat. I reckon my boy looks unhappy. Mm. He looks more angry than unhappy. After dating for some years and you married. What? I'm looking at the ending. I want to do in the middle of a casual conversation mention how you didn't get a prom. It's your date for prom. Oh yeah, it's that fucking... 
Despise your years of happiness, your marriage couldn't endure such a pathetic and so Ash abandoned you the next day. <laughs> and thus you live the rest of your life alone and sad. Never get monster problems the most important thing. Um wow. sure. You finally let product of the curse and ask your beloved to go with monster problem with you. Here's open. Kit. Oh, God. One minute. <coughs> <coughs> Prom night. Yes. Yes. He's not the kind of person that would have a spell for any night in the hospital. Hey, there you go, my dear. You got it. That's kind of nice oh, danger. I like my afterlife. <laughs> Let's go. Time to make some wild, poor life choices. Polly defined. Oh, um, what? Prom was, was dead and, and undead. Exactly. It's <laughs> still not well enough for the likes of you. So close to dawn, you decide to. Party by improvising into a buff-ass party. We partied with a group of classmates for days. Over time, people came and left. Some even died from too much partying. At one point, one of the deities of partying hard appeared, summoned by the depths of your peers, which turned out to be a sacrifice to him. He declared you as his house and bestowed upon you supernatural rad party powers. Like endless confetti, whatever that means. You're I just crying fun. confetti? No, 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 party cannons. Because that's how you roll. <laughs> yep. They joined you all week. Let's so go. <laughs> Greed and his super good awesome, salad. Awesome, bro. Why not? Sounds funny. There'll be so much party partying that the counts a workout. We're the perfect team. I love how Scott's so tall he doesn't fit in the form, the frame. I mean, he, oh, I don't think he's up very nice. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. Also, yeah, why does I mean, it look like he's wearing eight belts? Or like four belts. One, two, oh, at least four, yeah. It's a he sash, I think. I guess. Wonderful night to remember. How do four Let's belts? Do this. Fuck prom, you just want to talk to Vera. If only to apologize for all the you see, she's had to put up with these past few days. Hey you. Hey you. <laughs> it's like, hey you, hey you. You apologize. Huh? What? Nah, don't worry about it. By now I have a PhD in putting up with stupid <laughs> shit. She probably did. She got her lawyers to actually make her a PhD. Hmm. I guess you really want to understand how to get me to like you, huh? You did. Hmm. It's okay. I don't know. I just need time. And you need to learn how to stop being an anxious wreck ball. <laughs> Who wants everything to happen in the span of three weeks. <coughs> Friendship takes time. Love takes time. Life takes time. You need to learn that for your own good. <sighs> but gosh, it shows you really care about this. That's nice, to be honest. Let's call it a somewhat good start. I don't know about prom, but what if we just hang out today and see where life goes from there? It sounds like a plan. Hmm. We have right. a deal then. You do have a great day together. You have some drinks, play some billiards, and end up at her house having coffee and checking some family photo albums. It's actually a nice day. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. More cute. Wait, He's a I complex gotta save person. All of these. With dreams, and insecurities, and values. Oh, the, I want to be that dad one day, just carrying the kids on my shoulders, yucking it up, just... <laughs> I mean, maybe they're the most adorable little idea. dumbasses on the planet, but they're mine, and I'll kill anybody who even wrongs them. I'm wearing... Uh, <coughs> and no angry kids now. Seems yeah. like... Yeah, all the snakes are happy, except for that one on the bottom right. He's kind of just, eh. <laughs> but everybody's, they're good. They're not... I mean, that could just be the fact of positioning. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, oh god, blood rushing to head. You good, Help kid? Hmm? Can I move on? You said you wanted <laughs> to save it. <coughs> yeah, I got, I got Okay. You realize that you were doing her no justice by idealizing... Ide wait, idealizing? Yeah. Idealizing. Or is the unattainable goal. And as idealizing is a type of objectifying. We put someone on a pedestal, and we forget that in the end, they're just people like everyone else. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, we're blind to actually seeing them as who they truly are. You feel lucky that this time your shenanigans didn't work out. And instead, you just listened. Because the Vera who you dreamt about had nothing to do with the Vera that truly is. <coughs> we tend to turn right. people into goals, allies, enemies. The NPCs of our life. But everyone is the main character of their own story. And fuck. And so it's good to keep an eye out for those things. You're happy today you learned about Vera's. 
you wonder who will be next and what and that will be up to you if you learn to care fuck Ooh. that was a team in lock broke <laughs> yeah. so you broke ass bitch I mean it's not about you to be honest but yeah Oz, oh, best at actually learning something in school. I didn't go to class once. <laughs> <I didn't drown. laughs> Fuck class. <laughs> Get money. Better, Brian. Negative 22 money. Yep. Alright. Okay, then. That's all, folks. Da -da 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 it was two weeks for the most absurd. That's then I keep on living real lives, battling friends. Okay, now the double, like the click and enter thing works. Well, that's because you're technically back on single yeah, player because everyone has different dialogue at the end. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> You've unlocked 36 new images in the gallery. What? Yeah. Good game. What the fuck? That would be the power of now Every that. Every single one of those, like. Pictures that appeared in Veer's Serious? In gallery. Okay, I got apparently Scott and Blues, my furry cootie patootie. Aw. Unlocked in life. If you like you even. Holy crap. Okay. Wait, oh my god, it is every single one. Holy crap. Yep. Is it even one we didn't see? What? I'm asking you if it's even ones we didn't see. I'm scrolling through. Nope, it looks like all the ones that were just there. Okay. But there's no ending picture of... That's in a different, like, thing. Really? Yeah, that's in the endings. That's in the endings section. But I didn't see anything in the endings tab. There's nothing here. probably just low. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I see. That. Oh, jeez. But god, that is a sweet ending. Hmm. Also, nice. kind of strange, I guess, in a way. What do you mean? Well, okay, it's just because Vera's, like, their dad was wearing his t shirt on December 22nd. Like, bro, it's cold hospital? outside. <laughs> He could have a j uh, jacket that's aiming up. Alright, I guess you're right. Also, a fur coat. Literal. Bottom. Anyway, I think that's pretty good for now. <coughs> I agree. Yep. So, thank you very I much, all you viewers, for, for watching. This will be uploaded, like, as soon as I end this recording. I'm going to go start processing this crap. <laughs> So it uh, will be well, uploaded you gave for Christmas a few Eve. Editor notes, so. What? You gave yourself a few editor notes. True, but I can speed look through. But I know the moments to look for. Yeah. So we got Moomin Rider and try and find that audio. Or from, actually, not screw the text. They can read it from the cells. <laughs> Fuck them. But anyway, thank you very much, all you beautiful viewers. Hope you all have a happy holidays. And from Sick yep. Read, Belchy Kit. And Tumblr Doom. And dipshit yep. Matt who had the most audio issues that man has ever seen. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. So uh, long everybody and have a good times. Greed? Get uh, anything? Uh, happy holiday. <laughs> happy holiday. <laughs> Kit's drunk. We'll, just, we'll leave it there. Stay beautiful people. I'm not drunk yet, but I will be. I mean, what? What? Don't drink, kids. <laughs> Don't drink. Don't drink in Monster Prom. Actually, wait, no, scratch that. Do drink in Monster Prom. Wait, that's Prom. like the whole message. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye. 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 bye.